Hey guys, Basil Wolf, Grayson Hobby, and today we have a video on our, at least my favorite quad, the ET125 and 115. Uh, this video, we're gonna use a spectrum, spectrum radio. We're gonna show you how to bind the quad with the spectrum radio. We're gonna show you how to hook up Betaflight with a spectrum radio. And we're gonna show you how to fly the quad with a spectrum radio. So there it is, the video is of the with Free Sky? T120. <laughs> Last, we posted the video on the Free Sky setup and we mentioned, or the introduction video, and we mentioned that we were gonna do a tutorial if you guys were looking for it. Yes. And a ton of people asked for it. We've been getting emails about it, so here it is. Here's the spectrum. And the link below is to the spectrum quad as well as the Free Sky, so please, please, please make sure you get Pick the correct right one. one because there's three vari variations. I'm not gonna go in what they are. Just get your spectrum on. All right, if you're new to our channel or new to this video, we are a shop located right outside of Atlanta, Georgia that sells quads and airplanes and race quads and race drones and everything else. Oh my. We do tutorials, we do reviews, manufacturers reviews from sponsored and non-sponsored and just stuff we find around the area. So hit that bell button or and, and subscribe. This. Turn your buzzer off. Turn your buzzer off. All right, like I do with my dog. Go find. Oh, I found it. Look there it is in the tall grass. So, all right, radio is the first step. All right, yeah, so the first step, we're gonna go ahead and set up everything in the radio part first, which is pretty simple. So we're gonna create a new model. And guys, this is for everybody with the Black Edition radios uh, model type. And then I'm gonna select uh, multi-rotor on this one just because it's got the little picture. It doesn't really matter otherwise. Or if, um, if you haven't updated your firmware, right? Yeah, if, you, if yeah, if you, actually that's, Good call. Woohoo! Me, because I have one, and guess what? I haven't updated my firmware. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you have older firmware, then you just use the plane model. Don't right. need the helicopter. Don't need the sailplane. Right. But I'm going to select the multi rotor type on this one. Okay. Um, and let's see. I got that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go to F mode setup. That's the flight mode, and I'm going to inhibit switch one because that causes some weird stuff sometimes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and inhibit that. So now we're going to go back, and then the channel inputs. Um, for my particular use, I like to have this as my flight mode switch, and I like to have this as my mode switch. Uh, by default, the mode switch is going to be up here. Explain real quick what those switches do for anybody who's new. So this is... That will be your throttle... Arm and arm. disarm. Motors on, motors off. So yeah. if you crash, you want to disarm immediately. And then if you want to do your multiple flight modes, you can set it here. Back row, and if you have additional channels... Horizon, air mode. Yeah. We're going to set, set this up as a six channel. I got the gear is where I want, and on the new style radios, all you gotta do is flip the switch once you're highlighted. So you flip it in the gear switch. Yeah. And then I'm gonna flip this one here, so now I have switch B, which is labeled as that. Um, aux 2, I'm gonna sign that, uh, let's say over here. So I'm What's just gonna, aux 2 gonna be? A uh, buzzer or something. Right, which one yeah. you gonna do again? I'm sorry, I missed. I just flipped this one right here. Okay. Just that's gonna be basically the buzzer. So when that's you, an accessory channel. Right. You don't really need. Or when you crash in the high grass, you can find your quad by flipping that little switch with the buzzer. That's where they're yeah. what that's for. On this particular model. Um, the next thing I do is go to go out of the system setup, and then go to control setup, and we're gonna have to change the travel on these. And this is the funny part with Spectrum. You need to pretty much max out your channels um and we'll go back and confirm that max out the travel with everyone uh your first four. First four okay yeah. so that looks like altitude yeah because if you don't do this uh i set them to about 140 145 or so usually on the newer radios um if you don't do this it won't arm in beta flight okay. so so i'm just gonna do that and then raise it up and i always start with 145 because that's been on this particular radio it seems to be where it is for everybody. So you may be anywhere from 140 to 150, depending on your radio. So you just need to do your your sticks. You yeah, your, you your main four your, channels. Right, yeah, right. I don't worry about the gears and all that. Right. I, don't, I don't mess with any of those. Okay. All right, so the next thing to do after you do the travel is the reverse. So we're gonna have to reverse two channels with Spectrum, the roll and the yaw. Okay. So that's channel two and channel four we have to reverse. Otherwise, it won't. again, it won't work right in beta flight. So, the only other thing we're going to do, we're not going to mess with any of that stuff. Once we get it connected to the computer, we will be adjusting sub trims to make sure we got our center points set up on the radio. Okay. And then we'll fine tune our, our travel, which is actually your end points. All right. So we'll sub, we'll check those there. But after that gets we, after. after we get it bound and set up. Okay. So that's pretty much everything we need there. Okay. So now that we have that set up, we're going to get ready to bind the quad. But now we're going to have to get to the receiver to bind it. You can technically push an Allen wrench down in there and bind it without that, but we're going to take this off so you guys can see what we're doing. Um, so the lid, there's three screws on the bottom. You're going to have a screw in the front and these corners right here. So three screws are going to get removed. 
and then you can pull the top off. Now, be careful with this, guys, because the antenna is right there, so you have to run it through. If you just pull up on it real quick, you could break the antenna because it's kind of tight there. So we're gonna pull that off, and I'm just gonna move, I'm gonna unplug this for the sake of the video and move it to the side so you guys okay. can see what we're doing. All right, so explain what we have right there. All right, so this is the Spectrum version. This is the satellite receiver for Spectrum. It has a bind button right here. A big gold yeah. looking thing, right? Yeah, it's a little gold button. Um, you don't need anything crazy to push it. It's just really easy to push. So you don't want to use maybe just a fingernail or you know something like that. But you really probably don't want to use anything don't use like a screwdriver because you'll damage it. It will break, for sure. Yeah, so, um, now the cool thing about the Spectrum one is you do not need a battery to bind like you do with the Free Sky ones and the Fly Sky. So why is that cool? Um, because you don't have to worry about it accidentally arming and chopping chopping off your, your face. face. Off. You don't right. have to take the props off, etc. Okay. So now we got our computer hooked up. We're gonna plug wait, in. Wait, wait. So what are you doing here? You just have the USB supplied USB cable plugged into the USB port, right? Yeah. I mean the USB cable. It comes with the USB cord, so use right. that. Now what I like to do is. The first time you plug it in, let everything plug up. Those who have USB cables, sometimes they are just the power cords, sometimes they are data cables. So please use the one that came with it. That way you're guaranteed it's gonna work because sometimes you have ones from a cell phone that just power and don't work. We've seen this plenty of times. So use the one that came with your quad. Basically I plugged in, I didn't touch the computer for a minute and installed the driver. Unfortunately, while you're saying that it said it. So COM port's there. Um, so now I know that I have a COM port on this computer, it's connected, it's gonna work to beta flight. Okay. All right, so now that that's been done, what we're gonna do is get this quad into bind mode. Okay. So again, we do not need any battery power to do the, spe the Spectrum version. So I'm gonna push and hold the little power, uh, the bind button here, and while then I'm gonna plug it in. Okay. While I'm plugging in the USB. But now we have our flashing light. So flashing light means binding mode? It's in bind mode. Okay, so next. So now I need to take my Spectrum radio and you can't just bind it right next to it for some reason, Spectrum's weird about that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, in order to bind this radio, you can either go into the menu and bind or push and hold the button when you power it up. So this is the same way you bind any airplane, right? Yeah, yeah, so right. if you're familiar with your Spectrum then basically I'm just gonna keep it about five feet away, turn it on and make sure you listen to what it binds as. So, go into bind mode. Binding, DSMX 11 so milliseconds. So, in this case, it was DSMX 11 milliseconds. Yeah. It, so so our, it's bound. Our light went solid. Yes. So that means, good. Right. Yes, we have a solid bind, everything's good to go there. Um, so now that we have that part, um, what we have to do is connect to the computer. And now because this is DSMX, we're gonna have to change one or two things. All right. All right, so the first thing we have to change is the configuration. We have to scroll down on the configuration tab. So let me scroll down a little bit. And where it says Spectrum 1024, mm -hmm. that's DSM-2. If you had a DSM-2 only radio and it bound in DSM-2, it should work. Um, but the reason we're gonna switch it, and I'll show you guys real quick. See all these channels are all funky. They're doing weird stuff right now. That's not normal. So the quad's going crazy. It Even that little picture, scroll up. can you see that little quad in the corner? Yeah, so you'll see right, that's never a good sign. Right. <laughs> um, so let's go back to configuration and let's change it to Spectrum 2048, which is DSMX. All right. Now that I changed that, we have to hit save and reboot. Make sure you hit save and reboot. You can't just go to the next screen. Hit save and reboot. And you hit the bing bong and then you'll come back in. Now I'm gonna go back and check it real quick because for some reason it has a nasty habit of not saving. See, like it just did. So now I gotta go back and do it again. That's why we check. Save. Beta flight just does not like Spectrum. Shh. And it saved that time. Yay, so it took two right. tries to save. So um, you'll see it's just not you, it's just uh, it's us two, or yeah. it's actually the, the, the whatever. It's, I think it's a software glitch. Yeah. All right, so that's that. Now let's go back to the receiver tab, and you'll see now we have all of our aux channels and everything's there again. All right, so you, when you move that, now we have yeah. instantaneous. Now speed. make sure your channel mapping, I believe it actually came on the Spectrum on this particular model, but make sure, like if you, uh, another thing you may run into, if it's set up as that AETHR, what happens is everything's backwards. Your throttle becomes your roll. So again, you'll see the spinny thing in the corner. Okay. Um, spinny thing is bad. Yeah. So, so just double check your own spectrum. Make sure you set the spectrum. And you can't. You can't set that too many times. So if you want to change yeah. it, and you'll see, make sure your throttle responds with throttle. And again, because we don't have the battery attached, we're okay here. 
Um, so your channels line up. Okay. Right. Battery meaning that guy, the flight pack. Yeah. Or that one which comes to your quad. Yeah. All right. All right. So that's that. So that's prime. We have a bound quad. Everything's there. But now what we have to do is check the sub trims and endpoints and set them up properly. Because again, if you read the top part of this, it tells you to configure it channels from 1000 to 2000 set midpoint to 1500 so if you look here my roll is good but my pitch and my yaw are off throttle is really close I'm not gonna worry about it I'm gonna put throttle at mid stick real quick and it's off a little bit oh actually that's just me so it's actually pretty pretty spot on there so it looks like our yaw um, is good yeah our pit, uh, pitch is probably the one that's has gonna be the most problem 1506 yeah and I guess the yaw would be well. The only yeah, the only thing you're gonna find there is um, you're gonna get drift in it. It's right. not gonna. Right. It's gonna act like you're giving trim to it. Right. So it's so, like trim on an airplane. A control. So now we're gonna go back to control setup. Okay. And we're gonna go to sub trim, and I need to find which two channels it was. Uh, we got pitch, which is elevator. So I'm gonna go to my pitch, and I'm gonna adjust it until so you're adjusting the yeah, sub trim so until I'm that moving becomes it to, the dial to the right is going up, moving the dial to the left going down so, so now I'm at 1500 there so do that again and while you do that so now we're back where we're supposed to be that is moving pitch. okay yes. so we did the pitch we set trimmed it this, same for y'all y'all is 1498 we'll watch here now we're at 1500 yeah. and y'all you did was take this y'all brought it up two points and so that's our trim yeah. right there all right all right so that's there okay Easy enough. Yeah, and then now we want to check the endpoints. Okay, now that we got sub trims. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the sticks in the bottom left corner. All right, hold on. So you're on the. Okay, so you're bottom left. Yeah, I'm moving bottom left, so I should see the first four channels all go to the left. Yep. Um, and they also should be what? What number should they be? They should be over a thousand, not under. Okay. Um, this is where if you want to fine tune it, if you want to get everything as close to a thousand as possible, that's where you change your uh, travel adjust. So for example, let's do that real quick. We're gonna go travel, and I'm gonna do my altitude first. So my throttle, you see it at 106. Hold on. 106, yes. Yeah. If I increase, but look, I just moved it two points, and look where I'm at. Okay, you, that's your travel, okay. So yeah. okay. that was back in the, look, from the first step. Look where step. I'm at, look That where was I'm back at. in the first step, right? Yes, yeah. look back where I'm at, All that's right. 999. So we need, too low. that's too far. Yeah. So we need to go. 102 is fine. I can't get any different, more resolution on that without Shit. changing other settings in the radio. You don't need to. Okay. 102 is fine. All, All right. right. So now we're going to go full. So we're looking at the steps. We did the first step, right? The, the yes. Settings. This is okay. going back and adjusting the computer. All right. All right. So now I'm going to raise that up and 2001 is too high. So I'm going to go back to 1997. So you don't have to worry about being exactly 1000, exactly 2000. You just don't want to go over or under 1000 or 2000. Gotcha. Um, and then roll, let's see what roll is. Um, so, okay, in this case it looks like, actually, I bet you my radio is closer to 140. Nope, it's too high. So basically you want to play around with these trims and sub trims and travels until you it's get It's going to give be, you the most resolution. Right, until most you get throw, to be, yeah. what, 1,000 to 2,000. Center is 1,500. Satisfied? Yeah, so in order to get that as an example, even though I started with 145 on the first four channels, if you look down here, you'll see they varied a little bit. They're not exactly symmetrical or anything like that on every channel. Um, it just depends on where the sticks are calibrated to, what the endpoints are, etc. Now, one thing I like to do, and I'm going to show you guys this on these particular setups. This is the stick low. This is where if the stick's under 1100, it won't let it, or over 1100, won't let it arm. I usually change that to a lower number, not terribly. I don't set it to a thousand. For some reason, some videos do that, but if it's at a thousand two, it won't arm. So what I like to do is set it pretty low, but not super low. So I'm going to set it to 1020, um, which means that you can bump up stick a little bit. It'll still get in there. But um, the other thing I do is I set usually about two points of dead band. Um, that just desensitizes stick. So if you have jittery numbers, if your numbers are jittering back and forth, if your radio is worn out, um, it'll keep it from showing as an input. It, it cancels out any false inputs. And the final thing to do is go to your modes. So we're going to go to the modes. That's the next tab. This is what came on the quad, so it actually has factory modes set up. However, we are going to adjust them. So what I'm going to do is I want to look in my aux one. That was my gear channel, which is unfortunately from the box opposite of what I want. Okay, so there's two ways you can do it. You can either reverse the gear channel inside the radio or change it in beta flight. 
Um, I'm just gonna move it in beta plate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this bar here and I'm gonna move it all the way over. So yellow, when it's highlighted, it means it's armed basically, right? What yeah, seeing? and then I'm gonna hit save. So now what that did is just reverse it. Now this is disarmed, that is armed. Okay. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add air mode on, a, on the switch. Now this part is totally optional. And see how it says auto right here? Because mm -hmm. this is a newer beta flight. All I'm gonna have to do is flick the switch and it changed. As soon as I move the switch, whatever switch I moved on, now it changed. So that's aux two, which is what the second switch, the flight mode switch I set up. Was. Okay. So you can manually change it if you want. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set this to where it's gonna be all the way over there. Um, the reason being, I want, wherever the switch is, I want air mode towards me. I'd rather have angle away. And then, but that being said, you can see angle is in the wrong spot. So I need to drag this and slide it all the way over. And again, I'm gonna hit save. So we did two steps there. So if you make your bars look like this right here, that's gonna give you angle, horizon with air mode, and air mode acro, which is the gyro is always active, but there's no leveling. You wanna get fancy and add a beeper. Mm -hmm. Say you have a seven or eight channel radio and you want the beeper. Um, now all you gotta do is find the switch, an extra switch that you programmed earlier and set it. So what I'm gonna do is move this all the way over to one side, just cause that's where I want it. And that would turn on the beeper. Now, because I do not have a battery attached, the beeper is not gonna work right now. So don't freak out cause your beeper's not working. But you'll see this little yellow tab moving and you'll see that be great. That means it's off, moved it over, still off, moved it over one more time, now it's yellow. So that's on a th three position switch. And that's pretty much it, right? And yeah, that's everything. I mean, that, that's, that's gonna get you That's there. the basic setups of a Spectrum Radio and the King Kong ET 115 yeah, so, and 125. Yeah, so that is literally the Spectrum variation. Screws back in. I got it back, the top back on. I you gotta be careful the wires for the uh, ca uh, camera and all that. Um, batteries in there, so now we're and gonna- Real quick, make sure you secure- The balance plug. The balance plug, because- They get sucked into the props. And they just don't fall off the uh, batteries. They usually get cut off. So if that happens, make sure you- Oh. So we're plugged in there. And you know, let's put it over here. Let's show you what the buzzer does. So which switch do we so set I, up? I set it on this switch right here. You can hear the buzzer now. No buzzer, no buzzer. All right, and do the buzzer again. All right. So, All right, so right now, is it arm, disarmed? Yes, yeah, right. everything's disarmed. So this is disarmed. So if you give throttle with the disarm, nothing's yeah. gonna happen. Yes. So that's a good thing. That's Don't panic, it's Correct. a good thing. So then we, the way we follow, the way we set it up, we have that switch right here. Right here. Our, arming master on off switch what you want to call it yes. throttle kill whatever you want to call it flip that switch and now we're live now one thing you'll see here motor stop was not turned on that means the motors are always spinning no matter what mode you're in i typically turn motor stop on that way it doesn't do it unless air mode's on and that's the self leveling you see it's trying to level itself yeah this is not made for the inside so we're just doing a demo here now one thing to keep in mind here you guys, if you have your mode set up properly, because this quad has a beeper, when I flip the switch, it's beeping one time. So if you're flipping this switch and nothing's happening, it's probably not the right switch. Yeah. So um, make sure you set it up there. So for me, I got angle, horizon, and acro. And acro, usually you'll see the props slow down. So when they slow down, that's a good thing too. Yeah, that means you got no leveling. So you can see it's kind of like that. It's not trying to level itself. That's horizon. See, it's trying to level itself. And there you go. All right, there it is, your Spectrum. Yep, so there you have it. That's the quick and dirty way they'll get you going with the ET125 or 115 series and the Spectrum radio, whether you have a DX6, 7, 8, or 9. In the black series, the tutorial should be about the same. Um, if you're running older radios, they're pure DSM2 or JR, the old JR Spectrum radios there, stuff like that, uh, you will have to do things differently. But as long as you watch and you can understand, if you know your radio, you should be able to do that. If you've got a 10 year old radio, you probably know how to use it at this point. Or you should probably upgrade if you had a 10 year old radio. That too, I didn't yeah. say that. But, um, but uh, yeah guys, hopefully that gets you going. Um, and again, it might not be the, it's definitely not the only way to set these things up, but it's a quick and easy way it'll get you going that we just proved works.